In this video, I'm gonna show you editing MIDI drum velocity in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with some drums and a piano, and I'm not happy with the velocity of the drums. Now I could change that with volume adjustments, but doing it with velocity makes more sense. As most drum software uses multi samples for each drum that are triggered based on the velocity they're hit with. So using velocity to adjust it makes more sense to keep each hit more dynamic and more natural sounding. So if we open up the drum MIDI by double clicking, it looks like this. Now in the previous two videos, I showed you how to set it up with our drum hits as triangles and the drum notes all named and showing up as name notes mode. So check out those videos if you want to set it up the same way. And I made the velocities of each hit a lot bigger down here so you can see them. We have a kick, some snares, hi-hat, ride and crash. So let's hear what it sounds like now. So like I said, I'm not happy with these velocities, so I want to edit them so they sound more natural and a bit more compressed. In other words, the soft hits will be louder and the loud hits could be a bit softer, as it sounds too aggressive. So we could do it with all the hits by selecting all of them and going down here and grabbing and adjusting the velocity. that makes all of them lower together. I want to be a bit more nuanced in the changes, so the lower hits get a bit louder and the louder hits get a bit lower. We could also grab it from the notes, like this, to do the same thing. But like I said, I want to adjust each drum separately to get the right dynamics for each. So to select each drum, we could right click on each note, let's say we want to start with the snare, it selects all the snares or the kick. But let's start with the snare. Then I'm going to open up the filter by typing F, which opens up this dialog. Then I'm going to choose Set Filter from Selection, and it sets it up based on all the snares. I don't need the velocities, position, and length. I'm going to go up here to show only the events that pass the filter. Choose this. Close it, and now we're just seeing our snares. We're still going to hear everything, but it makes it easier just to see our snares. So I can adjust just them by going up or down, but again, that's moving them globally and not compressing the hits. The loud hits are still loud, and the lower hits are still too low. We want to compress that a bit. So we can right click. Any of the notes, go down here to Event Properties. And that opens up this dialog. Make sure we choose Note. Notice the note for that snare is right here. And we can adjust the velocities from here. We could do things like adding some, like plus 10 or minus 10. But again, that just adjusts it in total. But instead, we could use multiply and divide to compress our hits. For example, if I put divide by two, it's gonna divide the velocities by two or make them 50%. So if we apply this, it makes them all 50%. We could bring them up. Now we've compressed the velocities. Or we can multiply it times 0.8, and that's going to make them 80%, which again brings it down, but doesn't compress it as much. Or 
Let's do it a bit more. And bring it up. That sounds better to me. Now we can do the same with our kicks. Reopen the filter, type F. Let's clear it. Right click the kick to choose them all. Set the filter from selection. Get rid of these. Just choose note and show only events that pass the filter. Again, we're still gonna hear everything, but we're just seeing the kick. Although if you want that, we could solo the filter and just hear the kick. Now we could adjust this globally from here. Or do it by percentages. Right click, go down here to event properties, make sure it's set to note and the note we chose. Let's make it 50%, divide by two and apply it. Then bring up the kicks. Now, if you notice, these two kicks are a bit lower. You can adjust them separately by marquee selecting them, right click, drag, and just bring them up to taste. That sounds good for the kick. We open the filter, clear the filter. And now we see everything again. Let's work on the ride. Right click it, open the filter, set filter from selection. This time, let's just hear the ride. Right click. Go to event properties. Let's compress it a bit times 0.7 for 70% and bring up the overall volume. So that's a bit more compressed. Bring it all back in. That sounds pretty good to me. We've adjusted the dynamics on each drum separately to make it sound more cohesive and a bit more compressed, but also more natural. So this is how I would adjust the drum velocities if I wanted to do it within the MIDI editor. But we could also do it using MIDI plugins. So let's choose the drum MIDI item and hit Shift E. And that opens up the effects we could add to this MIDI item. We'll search in the filter velocity and let's choose MIDI velocity scalar compressor. Double click it. Now this effect is on this item. So we can adjust our scale by a percentage. So if I bring it down to 0.5, it's 50%. We could bring up the volume of the makeup gain with the volume offset. Let's hear it. Now, while I think that sounds better, it still doesn't give us as much control as we're still adjusting the compression of our velocities on all the drums at the same time. We'll have much more control 
if we separate each drum and process them with their own separate settings, like this. Let's keep it where we have it right now. Let's select this item, go to our actions, show action list, and type in explode. There's an option right here to explode MIDI note rows based on pitch. So it's going to create a different MIDI item for each note in a drum part or each drum. Double click it. And it muted the first item with all the drums, but it created new items based on each drum note. We have our kick, our snare, and one for each drum. So now we can add the same effect to each to control the velocities, but adjust them differently. So let's drag this effect to each one of the drum tracks. Just drag it and drop it on our kick on each of our snares. The hi-hat, the ride, and our crash. So now it should sound the same to how we set it up before over here. Now we can change it for each individual drum. Here's our kick. And our snare. And our ride. So just like before, we have more control over each drum note. Although with this method, we can't really see the results. We're just hearing it after the plugin. But if we do want to see the results and edit them directly in the MIDI editor, we could just apply the effect to the items as a new take. So we could just right click, drag to select all these items, then right click, go to apply, track, take effects to new items as new take with the MIDI output. And that creates a new take for each one, applying the velocity we used in the plugin. Then we can right click again if we want, go to take and choose crop to active take, which deletes the other one and just keeps the new one with the changes we just made. And then we could leave it separate like this or we'll put it all back together if we want. Just delete this one and drag these over to here and glue all these items into one, glue items, and we could delete these tracks, and we're back to just one item for all the drums. But now, all those changes we made show up in the MIDI editor. So these velocities down here are all based on the adjustments we made in the plugin. So it should sound exactly the same, and we can still re-edit it in here. So we can edit our velocities directly in the MIDI editor or use the plugins and apply them later so you can edit them again. So that's pretty much it. That's editing MIDI drum velocity in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.